All right, so first of all, this is the guy that I'm trying to control. This is a, uh, an animatronic that was created, designed by, sculpted by, molded, uh, everything else by Aaron Fector. Aaron Fector is the guy that uh, is the brains behind the Rockefeller explosion, the animatronic house band at Schroeder's Pizza in the 80s and early 90s. Uh, several years ago, Aaron was selling uh, animatronic kits in which you could assemble your own uh, animatronic kits and, and in the process learn more about animatronics. So I bought one from him and this is the guy that I got sent. He's a gargoyle. Um, I painted him to look, uh, you know, have more of a stone type of appearance. Uh, need to work on the rest of the body. Haven't got gotten a, a body figured out for him yet, but uh, we need to put a body on him. Uh, I've strung some lights around him, so that's the guy we're controlling, and we're going to be controlling him, controlling him uh, via DMX, a, a relay board that's controlled by DMX. DMX is a digital multiplex 512. Uh, you can essentially run 512 channels uh, via DMX, and that's one of the reasons I wanted to use DMX, is because it's expandable. I can, I can. I can put 32 more of these 16-channel relay boards on, or any number of things. DMX runs, uh, uh, originally DMX was used for, for running uh, theater lighting and DJ lighting, that type of thing. So I can put on any number of lights. You can run motors. You can uh, run relays like I'm doing. You can do so much with DMX, and that's one of the reasons why uh, I wanted to use DMX. Now, I found a DMX application. This is called... Uh, Q Light Controller Plus. One of the things I wanted to be able to do with the uh, DMX application is be able to record uh, data to a timeline that can later be played back via DMX, uh, send, send the signals out to um, my relay board. I wasn't able to find a good um, a good application that would do that. They were either too expensive or didn't work with this generic um, DMX USB dongle that I bought. Uh, that was like $30, and when I got it, I didn't know hardly anything about DMX. It was through setting all this up that I learned tons of stuff about DMX. Uh, this specific dongle is, is open source. The, the firmware uh, and everything about it is open source. You can make your own. There's instructions on the web, and if you're good at doing that kind of thing, soldering, compiling software and stuff, you can make your own for for not very much money. This one I bought on Amazon. Come on, focus. I bought on Amazon for, uh, it was like $30. This application doesn't natively support my dongle, but it does support ArtNet. Now what's ArtNet? ArtNet is a protocol used to send DMX data over a network. Well, I'm not sending DMX data over a network, I'm sending it right back to the, another application on my machine which sends it out to my dongle. And it works really, really well. And so here's what I've got going. I've set up 16 channels, 16 buttons here. And these 16 buttons correspond with the 16 channels on this relay board. When I press a button on this application, let's say channel two, you can see that it, it lights up. I have that's my, uh, my string of Christmas lights that I have. And each, as I said, each button corresponds with a different channel on the relay board. Now, I wanted to have a timeline, like I said, so I could, I could record MIDI data, or, well, so I could record uh, DMX data and send it out to the DMX board. But this application, or None of the applications I found were, were really very suitable for that. So what I did was I tried to figure out a way I could send MIDI data into this application and trigger these buttons. And I was able to do that. Now I can go into Ableton. Uh, I have Ableton set up to send all MIDI data to my application here, my DMX application. And now I've, I've, I've mapped different MIDI controls to uh, control these buttons, which in turn control the DMX stuff and the gargoyle and everything that's connected to the relay board. 
So now the gargoyle is uh, run pneumatically. I have them hooked up to my air compressor. Let's take a look back here. You see that, uh, that pneumatic cylinder, and we're connected to a pneumatic solenoid right here, which is connected to the relay board. Um, so let's go, let's go fire up the, uh, the air compressor. This animatronic um, uses uh, about 20, 20 pounds of pressure. Let's turn this on here. About 20 pounds. Yeah, that should be good. Going back over to the computer. So I've programmed a short show. When the uh, data is sent from the, the, the relay board over to the solenoid, the solenoid opens um, uh, and, and lets air go into the, the cylinder and the gargoyle. And the gargoyle will open his mouth and the lights should fire off when the connection is made, when the circuit is closed on the relay board. Everything should work. Let's see, we got uh, gargoyle working. There he goes, there he goes. All right, so I'm gonna play this short program that I have uh, previously programmed. I have not, but one of the reasons I wanted to use MIDI data is so I could um, go back later and edit it, make more precise, uh, precise movements and light uh, flashes as I needed. I went through and I just recorded this live. I didn't make any edits, so it's not right on, it's not perfect, but I'm gonna play it for you anyway, just to give you an idea of what's going on. I'm gonna turn off the lights. Right, it's dark. I hope I don't trip over anything. It's very likely that I may, in which case, you're not gonna see the program. Okay, over here, I'm gonna start uh, Ableton. I've got my show here, all the MIDI data lined up with the audio, and we're gonna hit play and hope that this works. Jugs and orbs and darts and gourds, Elmer fuds and bouncing Buddhas, sweater stretchers, lung protectors, beach umbrellas, frost detectors, Scooby snacks and snake eyes dice, jello molds and high beam lights. Every day I promptly use 99 words for blues. Humpty dumplings, hearty boys, double lattes, ode to joys. So you can hear the relays clicking. That's such a, a good sound. And uh, you're also hearing, uh, you're also hearing the exhaust come off of the, the solenoid here. The air that goes into the, the cylinder is being exhausted back out. I think I probably should, put, uh, should have put a little bit more air into it. It looks like he's not as responsive as I'd like him to be. i 
right, so that was uh, that was by Robert London Spaff, 99 Words for Boobs, and that was the gargoyle that you saw. This is the uh, system that I came up with in order to be able to control the, the gargoyle and the lights and everything. And uh, if you have any questions, I would be happy to answer them. Just uh, send me a little message. Thanks for watching.